In 1976, when a NASA scientist named Toby Owen was reviewing photos sent back by the Viking spacecraft, he was startled by one particular image. He could hardly believe his eyes. But once he calmed down, there was no more doubt. It was a giant face staring into the Martian sky, complete with two eyes, a nose, and a mouth, just like a human face. The very next day, NASA held a press conference to release hundreds of photos taken by Viking, including the image of the human-like face, as a way to spark public interest. And just as they hoped, the media exploded with coverage. Theories began to spread even faster than the Viking spacecraft. Rumors circulated that the Martians had carved a haunting human face into the surface of Mars. And that the US government was hiding the truth. The face photo became the first real image, among dozens of strange ones, that ignited our imagination about aliens. Was it just a visual illusion? Or was it truly a leftover clue from a long-lost civilization? Right now, let's take a look at the strangest photos ever taken on Mars. And then you decide for yourself, are you looking at rocks, or signs of extraterrestrial life? Alright, let's begin the journey. For centuries, we've been fascinated by the beauty and stories surrounding the idea of life on the Red Planet. A world closest to us beyond Earth. At its nearest point, Mars is only 54.6 million kilometers away from us. And this happens roughly once every 26 months. That close distance makes it easy to observe. The idea of a Martian civilization began to take shape as early as the 18th century. In 1784, the famous British astronomer William Herschel predicted that Mars was home to intelligent beings. Creatures who might prefer an environment similar to our own. Herschel's theory remained popular for more than a century. Then, in 1877, when Mars came closer to Earth than ever before, an Italian astronomer named Giovanni Schiaparelli pointed his telescope at the night sky. Based on his observations, he drew this map, the first ever map of Mars. He described Mars as having dark patches and grooves crisscrossing like a spider web. He used the Italian word, canali, meaning, channels, or, grooves. But when translated into English, it became, canals. With the imagination of that era, people believed that Mars was home to an intelligent civilization capable of building a massive irrigation system to manage the planet's precious water supply. During the Cold War, as the space race between the US and the Soviet Union reached its peak, capturing close-up images of the Red Planet became a top priority. In 1965, NASA's Mariner 4 spacecraft became the first to fly by Mars and take the very first close. Up photos of its surface. These early images were incredibly fascinating, but they revealed a disappointing truth, this was a dead planet. The so-called canals were nothing more than optical illusions, created by the use of low-quality telescopes. There was no sign of life on the surface of Mars, not even the smallest living organism. The planet was covered only in impact craters, sand, and dust. Mariner 4 drastically changed the scientific community's view of life on the red planet. From a once hopeful vision of a lush, life-filled world, Mars quickly fell into the category of a lifeless, cold, and barren place, incapable of supporting any form of life. But hope was reignited in 1976, when NASA released the latest images from Mars, captured by the Viking mission. The Viking 1 and Viking 2 spacecraft were launched in 1975 and entered Mars orbit in June 1976. Each Viking mission consisted of an orbiter and a lander that touched down on the surface. The orbiter's job was to take detailed photos of the Martian surface, helping identify target landing sites for future missions. As the Viking orbiters passed over a highland region known as Cydonia, roughly two kilometers wide, they captured 18 black and white images of the area. These photos were quickly sent back to Earth. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, a NASA engineer noticed something unusual. It was a structure that looked like a human face. 
Its official designation is 035A72, with a resolution of about 50 meters per pixel. The black spots in the image are just data errors. As soon as it was released, the photo of the human-like face captured attention beyond anyone's imagination. The media and the public flooded NASA with questions. What is it? Is it solid like the Sphinx? Could it be an artificial structure built by an ancient Martian civilization? The lead scientist of the Viking mission dismissed the idea that it was a face. Instead, he explained that the image was simply a shadow effect, a trick of light and darkness. However, NASA's official explanation didn't stop the wave of conspiracy theories about aliens. Many commentators, including Richard Hoagland, believed that the face on Mars was proof of a long-lost civilization. According to them, Cydonia was a destroyed city, home to pyramids, and the face was just one part of a much larger structure. More than two decades after the famous photo from Viking 1 shook the world. A series of space missions returned to the Cydonia region on the Red Planet. This time with advanced observation technology far beyond what was available in the 1970s. Among these missions were NASA's Mars Global Surveyor, MGS, which operated from 1997 to 2006 and the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MRO, launched in 2006. Also joining the effort was the European Space Agency's Mars Express Orbiter, which began operations in 2003. Unlike the limited resolution of images from the 1970s, the new equipment captured the legendary face with stunning detail. This is the image taken by MGS in 2001. And here is the image of the face captured by MRO in 2007. The high-resolution images clearly reveal that it is a natural hill, shaped by rugged terrain, shadows, and randomly scattered rocks. When sunlight hits the formation at a certain angle, it creates the illusion of a human-like face. And here is another structure in the Cydonia region, the one people call the D&M Pyramid. Scientists call the illusion of the Mars face pareidolia. A phenomenon where the human brain tries to recognize familiar patterns in natural images. So after decades of debate, the face on Mars was finally explained. But the face captured by the Viking spacecraft back then was only the beginning. Since humanity first turned its attention to the Red Planet, more and more missions have been launched. And as a result, we're seeing an increasing number of strange, unexplainable anomalies. In 2004, the Spirit rover successfully landed in the Giza crater on Mars. Then, on January 2, 2007, the rover captured an image that would become famously known as the Martian Woman. The photo drew major attention from the public and UFO enthusiasts. In the image, a small figure appears on a rock along the horizon. It resembles the shape of a woman either sitting or walking, with an outstretched arm and a slim body. They estimate that the figure is only a few centimeters tall, most likely just a small piece of rock shaped by chance. Although scientists dismissed the idea of a living creature, the image quickly went viral. It became a hot topic among those who believe in UFOs and extraterrestrial life. Sparking discussions on online forums, in newspapers, and even on television programs. In 2006, NASA's Spirit rover captured another attention-grabbing photo. A strange object on the dusty Martian ground that looked remarkably like a human skull. In the image, the object appears to have eye sockets, a nasal ridge, and contours around the cheekbones. Features that make it easy to mistake for a skull when viewed from a certain angle. Its color closely matches the surrounding sandstone and is covered in fine dust. A clue suggesting it may simply be a naturally eroded rock. Experts once again pointed to pareidolia. Our brain's tendency to interpret random shapes as familiar patterns, especially faces or body parts. On a rocky planet like Mars, shaped by strong winds and erosion, it's not uncommon for objects to resemble living forms. By 2012, NASA introduced a new generation of Mars exploration with the Curiosity rover. This robotic vehicle successfully landed in Gale Crater and continues to operate to this day. With over 12 years of exploration on the Red Planet, 
curiosity has repeatedly shocked the world. Capturing eerie and mysterious images from our neighboring world. In March 2013, curiosity once again stirred the scientific community when it captured a photo of what seemed to be a mouse. Yes, the object, lying among scattered rocks, resembled a mouse. With a protruding head, what appeared to be ears, a slender body, a short tail, and small legs. As soon as the image spread, many UFO enthusiasts and proponents of extraterrestrial life theories suggested that it could be evidence of life on Mars. Or even a creature brought there by humans as part of some hidden agenda. However, NASA scientists quickly dismissed this theory. They explained that the object was simply a rock with a unique shape, formed by weathering, erosion, and the harsh environmental conditions of Mars. Also, in 2013, Curiosity captured this intriguing image, showing an object that was described as resembling a helmet. But many experts believe it's just a regular rock on the red planet, nothing more. By 2014, Curiosity added another strange and mysterious image to its collection. Showing an object that appeared to resemble a human femur. Scientists happily explained that the unusual shape was likely the result of wind or water erosion. If NASA had actually found human remains on Mars, scientists would want to shout it from the rooftops. As for this image, alien enthusiasts excitedly claimed that it looked like a fish. NASA quickly poured cold water on that idea, explaining that Mars could never have had enough oxygen in its atmosphere to support large living creatures. In May 2022, another image captured by the Curiosity rover sparked a buzz across social media. On the rugged slope of Mount Sharp, a narrow passageway, less than a meter high, appeared carved deep into the rock, resembling an artificial door. With sharp edges, smooth walls, and above all, its almost perfect appearance, it seemed too flawless to be a natural formation. Social media exploded, with people dubbing it the door to an alien base. Some even suggested that behind it lay a system of underground tunnels, a secret habitat for an ancient species on Mars. NASA quickly responded, explaining that it was simply a small crack formed by tectonic fractures and erosion. But for many, this explanation wasn't convincing enough. After all, if it's just a crack, why does it look so much like an entrance? This image was unintentionally captured by Curiosity in October 2020. Scientist Kevin Gill spotted this strange little rock in the photo and joked that it resembled a drill bit he had misplaced a few months earlier. Look at the center of this image, captured by the Curiosity rover. You can see a long-handled spoon stretching across the scene, casting a shadow beneath it. Could this be a sign that cooking is a common hobby on Mars? Unfortunately, no. Mars doesn't have the same gravitational force we experience on Earth, so delicate structures like this wouldn't remain intact without collapsing. From the images above, many people believe that NASA is intentionally hiding the truth, that an ancient civilization once existed on the Red Planet. Currently, Mars still holds traces of extraterrestrial life. Some even argue that objects like the woman, the mummy, or the Mars mouse are not mere coincidences, but leaked evidence, things that shouldn't be seen. Conspiracy theories go even further, claiming that NASA has removed or blurred certain images before releasing them. Or suggesting that there are secret missions that have never been mentioned. Although there is no concrete evidence to support these claims, these theories continue to receive strong support from the UFO community. As they tap into humanity's deepest curiosity about extraterrestrial life. In response to the wave of conspiracy theories and widespread rumors, NASA has repeatedly spoken out. The agency confirms that all images sent back by the rovers are publicly available on its official website, and there has been no interference or modification to hide anything. According to NASA experts, the strange-shaped objects are actually rocks with random formations. And the sensation of seeing people or seeing animals is simply a visual illusion, the phenomenon of pareidolia. 
However, NASA has never completely ruled out the possibility that life may have once existed on Mars. Particularly in the form of microorganisms in the distant past. Therefore, even though science has not yet found clear evidence of intelligent life, the door to exploration remains wide open. Strange images on Mars, whether it's a rock with a familiar shape or simply an optical illusion, have always held a strange fascination. They not only spark our curiosity but also raise profound questions, could life have once existed beyond Earth? Is it possible that an ancient civilization has been buried under the red dust of Mars for millions of years? Although modern science remains cautious, human imagination and the desire to explore have never ceased. And it is in the gap between reality and theory, between science and mystery, that the most captivating stories are formed. What about you? Do you believe these are just random rock formations, or are they signs of a great truth we are not yet ready to accept? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, because who knows, the answer might lie in your perspective. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to give this video a like and share it with your friends. Goodbye and see you in the next exploration journey. Best regards, goodbye.